Hi there, my name is Colette Grodzicki. This is my 10th year at North, and I am a language arts teacher. Um, it is my philosophy that all students should get a rigorous academic education, but that that education should always tie to real life experience and what they're really going to need to know when they leave here. I want to make sure that all of my students have everything that they need to be successful in college, but not only college, in the adult world where everything has to be done a certain way and where they need to be prepared for anything they might meet. My innovative um, strategy had to do with the teaching of the Crucible, which is a, requ a required text for 11th graders. What we did was we read the play and then we put on a actual trial, putting all of the guilty parties from the Salem Witch Trials um, to the judges and to the class as a whole to determine who was the most responsible for all of the innocent people that died in the trials. They had to research, they had to look at a bunch of different um, sources including the original trial documents and modern day comparisons such as the McCarthy trials and even as far as um, the people that were put on trial and during 9-11 which um, also was sort of a Salem witch trial hunt for a while. And all of this came together at the end and students really got to focus on learning how to argue and learning how to present a case in a really logical way in order to prepare for their Georgia High School graduation test as well as their AP language and composition exams. Also during the Crucible project, all of my students got to experience E-Class for the first time. We did the project in September and I set up discussion boards so that they could all share sources that they found that they felt were really poignant and really good for the project. So they used discussion boards to discuss and share all of that stuff, but they also turned everything in on the E-Class Dropbox, which was a first time experience for them, but I felt that it was really important for them to learn how to use that technology since that's the exact same technology that's used in colleges. So again, I brought everything around so that it made it a real life, real world experience that they could use for many years after the project. My favorite thing about North is that it's such a warm, collaborative environment where all students have a voice and all teachers have a voice and everyone really works together to make this the best school that there is in the whole world. I'm Raina O'Leary. I am the director of the dance program here at North Gwinnett. I've been here for nine years in the program. I started this program and I love it. So my philosophy of edu education is um, its very simple. I like to present an atmosphere that the students can learn in. And whether that be it's, it's an atmosphere that's organic for learning, meaning the, the, the learning is an authentic experience, or whether it's just me creating a space that is safe. Um, I think it's important for students to feel safe, especially in a movement-based class, that, uh, that they can experiment with the things that I give them. Um, I use lots of auditory clues, verbal clues, uh, different things that they, can, that they can use as tools to assess and, and analyze their movement and to make it better. So the newest method that I've discovered in teaching is using Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. And the fascinating thing about this is we all have different styles of learning and I don't think it's I don't think it's necessary for us to point out one modality of learning for our students to learn. They learn through visual cues, they learn through auditory cues, through logic. Um, and why not take a dance-based or movement-based class and utilize all of these ways of instruction to better enhance their learning. The most fascinating part about this authentic learning and fostering meaning through multi multiple intelligences was I was able to incorporate remedial and enrichment skills seamlessly. It was so easy to, without letting the students know, that I was providing remedial enrich, remedial or enrichment skills, they, they didn't know because there were so many multi-dimensional ways of providing this instruction to them. Yeah. I love working here at North Gwinnett because the staff is so supportive and accepting of the dance program. Um, the, I get to collaborate with teachers that, that love 
their jobs. The students are just exceptional. They want to learn. They they're they're eager to to try new things. And just the the community as a whole is just something that that I think is just a fabulous place to be. Awesome. Hey, I'm Shauna Reed. This is my ninth year at North Gwinnett and my 17th year teaching. Uh, I teach uh, College Prep Bio, Honors Gifted Bio, Sheltered Bio, and Connect. My philosophy of education stems on preparing students for what their future will be like once they leave um, the building. So biology is my core subject and, and that's what I like to focus on, but I want to make sure that the, the kids also come out with critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, um, research skills so that when they leave they're better able to join the workforce, move into higher education, and realize that subjects are not just in isolation, that they need to be able to apply the skills and apply the knowledge that they've learned out in the real world. So teaching bio allows me to do that because they're interested and they're engaged in the content and then I can take that content a bit further by giving them projects like having them build a, a Earth on Mars or letting them run an evolution trial so that they take the knowledge that they learn and they can apply that to the everyday world. So teaching them bio is great. Having them have skills that are going to carry on once they leave high school is even better. The best innovation that I've been able to be a part of is a new program at North that's called Connect. Um, Connect is a program that's been in the making for a couple of years and what we've done is we've taken biology, language arts, and 2D, 3D art and we've combined that into one course. So we actually get to take language arts principles and critical reading and critical thinking and we apply those to the science. We take science principles like proving your work and we can apply that to the language arts. And then we get this great opportunity to bring in the visuals of science, of literature by incorporating 2D, 3D art. So the students learn that language arts is not just language arts, bio isn't just bio, and 2D, 3D art isn't just about drawing. It's about pulling ideas and creating ideas and coming up with new thoughts and concepts and then supporting that um, <clears throat> through quotes, through articles, through research, um, and through the content. So Connect is a really exciting class where the students are, are delving and pushing themselves beyond what they would normally do in a class and creating some pretty interesting and unique products. Um, what I love most about North is, as a teacher and as a professional, I get a lot of opportunities to explore uh, new curriculum, teach in new ways, um, and I'm allowed to take risks. I also love our students. Our students are engaged. Um, they interact not just with the school, but with the community. Um, they're spirited. They like a challenge. They like to serve. Um, and I think we really do follow that motto that all students are leaders, and they all step up in their own way when given the opportunity. Hi.